our <laughs> we have to move on to our warm up craft. And our warm up craft has to do with what part of my party favors turned out to be. Yay, Cheryl made it. Woohoo. Um what are what my party favors turned out to be because I use alcohol inks with this and it's a great warm up craft. So here's how my party favors turned out with a cute little bow on it. And um so and it's filled with lots of candy and pop rocks, all my favorite candy. And the polka dots are done in alcohol inks. So very, very easy to do. And I'll show you the little tower that Cliff, my husband, awesome husband, made uh, for this, which is also themed kind of Queen of Hearts, uh, you know, that kind of playing cards thing. It's super cute, and I think you guys are going to really like it. it. It can, like, double as an Alice in Wonderland or Casino Night kind of tray tower thing. So let's start out with a, um, where did my blank, where did my blank little cup go? I'll use this red cup. So I just started out with these cups. I got them at Party City. There was, like, 50 of them for 10 bucks or something like that. I thought it fit this, you know, the same. It's not a traditional teacup, but it is perfect for a tea party theme, which I had. Let's move on over to... <laughs> You're right, Cliff could have done it with his own stash buttons. Okay, let's move on over... Woo-woo, <laughs> crap cam! <laughs> you guys got it so good. All right, pardon my dirty, crazy mess of a desk, but... Today, we're going to be moving, I had already kind of covered this in a little bit of a red there, and we're working with Adirondack inks from Tin Holt, right here. I'm using eggplant and cranberry. Very easy to do this. If you've never worked with alcohol inks, they're worth, they're worth um, you know, picking up a set of them because they're, they work on all hard surfaces. They dry really quickly, and they're water resistant, so you don't have to, it's just like, um, they're just like Sharpies, but um, in more of a liquid, uh, squeezy form. Okay, so what I did is I just took some round, some round um, spongies. I got these, I think I, the, this, this bouncer is a one and a quarter bouncer, and um, I think I got this from the dollar store. I'm pretty sure I did. And all I did was I gave myself a, a about that much, about about a dime, no, probably about a nickel for this bigger one. Now, it doesn't have to be perfectly round on your sponsor. It actually, you make that perfectly round once you put it down onto your piece. And you just put down, you don't have to press down super hard like you would with a stamp, and you just twist. And that gives it a really cool, and it will just kind of spread out, just like that. And if, of course, your first one's going to have a lot more on it, so you probably need to have that dry before you start moving your cup. But you see how cool that is? Okay, and then you just want to keep going. Now, of course, you can, um, you know, lighten that up as well. If you really want to, you can put another color in. So really, really easily just giving it some circles. And this one will have like a little half circle. So very dotty and fun. I like that. I'll use that like that. Okay, and then I was going to do a smaller, I'll just do kind of half of this right here, but then you can do a smaller one just by using a smaller sponsor and then putting that on to a smaller guy. You don't want to get this on your clothes. That's the only thing I figured out, and I'm like trying to avoid my, uh, my um, nice new little Alice in Wonderland dress. So this was actually mixed with a little bit of brown, so it's coming out darker. But you can see how easy it is to make just different shapes and sizes by uh, putting that on there like that. So ve I'm very lightly putting that on. It didn't, it didn't go, um, you know, I didn't press down really hard. In fact, you know, I tried this a couple times, and the first time I tried it, it was really, really uh, too hard. The pressure was too hard. The pressure was too much. Oh, my gosh. And then, to finish it off, of course, everybody needs a ribbon, so I uh, I threw a ribbon around here, and I put that through one of my cute little distressed thank you cutouts. So what I did was I stamped thank you on a piece of paper, 
and then I cut it out with a, I believe it's Stampin' Up! scallop, and then I just distressed it a little bit with some blue ink. So that was that, and that is like the easiest warm-up ever. Okay, so now I think it's time for another giveaway. Right? Don't you guys think it's time for another giveaway? So then I just put that like that. And blammo. And of course, this doesn't have to be just for, you know, your little, what, am, what, do, you, what do I call them? Your little favors. They can also be for holding little flowers, that thing. So very, very easy. Oh.